the 10 yard line or close to it. Joe Gardner stopped, Kugelman fell down and he raced for the first down to the 10 yard line. So a pass in the flat, Triplett was getting pressured heavily and he found Gardner and that play's been a big one for us tonight. He's right on the 10 yard line. Bruce, we ran a pass off of the slice trap. We ran the fake slice, we got the ball to Joe Gardner who lined up at the fullback position in there for the first down yardage. I'm not sure we can get a first down. We're on about the 10 and a quarter and we run it up the middle. Five, four, three, two, touchdown. Untouched. We ran straight up the middle, Reggie Corder, and he went 10 yards and nobody touched him. Big, big hole off left guard. Great blocking up front bar guards and tackles. Lebanon 19, Cookville nothing. We'll probably go for two. Just ran the lead play, Bruce, and we gave Reggie some running room and it worked like a charm. Reggie Corder with the touchdown. I believe his first of the year, the first time the senior has hit pay dirt for the Blue Devils. So a 10 yard touchdown run straight up the middle of Reggie Corder. We come out with a slot right. We're going for two on the extra point. Back to pass, got a man in the end zone. Two. Scott Ogle, 21 to nothing, Lebanon. He was wide open on the extra point. Triplet hit him. Back in 30 seconds, Donnie Lebanon, 21, Cookville nothing. Yards, 10 plays. Reggie Corder with his first touchdown of the season. Lebanon goes to goes for two. Scott Ogle from Triplet. Lebanon leads 21 to nothing. Kickoff by C will go down to the 13 and dropped and picked up and up to the 20 and goes to the 25 and gets knocked down. Kickoff went down to the 13. They ran it back to the 26 and got 13 out of the return. Cook will take over. 11 and 21. Cook will zero. We're somewhere in the third quarter. No clock tonight again, we say. Smith's the quarterback. 11 and trying to get in the playoffs for the fifth straight year under Coach Mark Medley. And that's how many years he's been there. So it will be five straight years. We'll have to head for shelvable. Lebanon in a 50 with them two linebackers about five yards off the ball. They run the option and they cut it in and they hit him and knocked him down. There to meet him was Scott Ogle and Skull Root on about the 30. Picked up about three or four out of it. Kept the ball and run the option. Scott Ogle in on the tackle along with Alex Skull Root. Terry Smith has not had a good night running that football. Hadn't had uh, very much room. Not any room at all, Tommy. 11 carries minus eight net for Jim Smith, the quarterback. That may have been as big as Gein. He picked up about three and a half that time on that run off the keeper. They send three wide outs to the right, one setback. They shift into short punt sometimes on this. Right now, they don't have any setbacks. He's moved up. They got a quarterback sitting there, and they run a dive straight up the middle, and he twist and turn and got to the 35. They moved the fullback over right behind the guard run a straight dive and got to the 35 and they're about a yard and a half short where it'll be third down we'll call it two third and two for cook bruce that was that sophomore dewan farrell they slipped him in there at the single running back position kind of put him in the center guard gap and ran him straight ahead on the dive play just trying to take whatever he could get Google looking at a third down and two they're in a must situation almost down three touchdowns Run the fullback, got the first down, got to the 40, all the way to the 44 of us. He really came up through the middle and picked up about nine yards on the play and got all the way to the 44. And run the straight dive. That's been their best play tonight, running right straight at us and giving it to the fullback. Or the up dive, man, and that time they handed the football, I think, to the fullback, Sam, and it was, and he got up to the 44. It's first down, Cougal. They say that's the end of the third quarter. I'm not sure we got time to go take a 30-second break, Tommy. Let's just keep it here this time because they ended the quarter so quickly we didn't know it was going to be over. Lebanon's leading 21 to nothing as we start the fourth quarter. So, Tommy, we got one quarter, and we'll be in the playoffs again. 12 minutes to go for the Blue Devils, and... Terry Stafford, a very good stat that our defense is awfully proud of coming into this game. I mean, no team has scored against Lebanon in the fourth quarter all season. Lebanon with a 21-point lead, another stat. No team has scored more than one time in a quarter. So I don't expect Cooper to get more than 21 points in the fourth. It's looking awfully good, Bruce, for the Blue Devils as we count down the minutes 
until this game's over and we return to the playoffs. So Lebanon leading 21 to nothing, and Kugel comes out. They've got a first down on the 40, we'll call it the 44. It's closer to the 43. It's right between the 44 and 43, and they got a split end to the right and the flanker to the left, and they'd run that option, and they're going to pitch it, and we're waiting on him when we hit him, and we knock him down on the 45. They ran the option, and they pitched it that time, and... The new running back you said in there is Farrell, and he had a good night the other night against DeKalb County. This time he got banged up a little bit and got a couple of yards of the 46. Here's that Lebanon defensive front. We've got Donnie Self, Corey Defendall, and Tim Hicks at the inside positions. Kendall and Skullrood are the defensive ends. Ogle and Clemens, the linebackers, in that 5-2 look. Google with a couple of wide outs to the left. Smith, the quarterback. Long time running the play. They fake the option back to pass. Here comes Hicks chasing him down. He'll get part of him. Kendall will finish him off back on the 36. Tim Hicks came barreling through from the tackle, chased him down, and then Kendall finished him off on the 37. They say they knocked him down. Lost about 10 on the play, somewhere in the neighborhood of it, maybe eight. Great pursuit by Tim Hicks, the senior. Flushing Smith out of the pocket. Kendall there to finish him off in another negative play. Minus yardage once again for the Cookville quarterback. Or if you take away that long 66-yard run before the half, they might be negative yards. Cookville tonight, 21 to nothing, 11 in fourth quarter. Probably about 10 minutes to play in this football game. Cookville in third and long. They got to go to our 46. They're on our, they're on 37. Screen out there, incomplete, might be a fumble. No, they say incomplete. Ledman jumped on it. It was a quick screen to the left. He threw the football, and the ball was on the 37, and he dropped it, Tommy, on the 35. But evidently, he threw it forward, incomplete, fourth down. Alex Gullrud did a good job of getting his hands up. The quarterback, Smith, kind of short-hopped it out to the receiver. And Prophet, the gentleman who was injured earlier, back in there to kick once again for the Cavaliers, Bentley and Corley to receive. Snap is back, and the punt is away. We rush a couple of ends. A good punt this time. Corley takes it on a 28, gets a block, 30 flags everywhere. Corley, 35, 40, 45, 50, 45, 40. That'll be brought back. I see three flags. And that should be clipping down there somewhere. On about the 31, I see a flag. There's one on the 36, and there's one on the 43. Tracy Corley caught the football, ran it all the way to Kugel's 41. It'll be wiped out by three clips. Well, that's a great return, Bruce. But we, a <laughs> couple of three of those blocks were illegal, as it looked like maybe. You know, when one referee starts throwing a flag, they all throw one. And uh, it looked like Stone may have uh, got a bad block in there and maybe actually as we tried to get around the corner and get in between that picket fence and the sideline on the return gonna back it up but Lebanon uh, all the Blue Devils want to do now is run that clock they penalize us from that father's flag back which was the 31 and that will take it back to the 16 yard line and that's where they put it down on the 16 First down and 10 on the 16, Lebanon 21, Cookville 0. I set quarters of tailback, I believe. Take it, and we run that inside trap to Gardner, and he cut it in and got to the 18 or 19 and got knocked down and got three or four out of it. Actually, they'll spot it close to the 20. We'll say 19 and call it a gain of about three and a half. Lebanon trying to run the clock, leading 21 to nothing. Brent Mullen, sophomore linebacker for Cookville, in there to make the play, and I just I don't think we got him blocked. If uh, we get Mullins out of there, looks like Joe had a lot of running room. Lebanon with a slot right. Cookville's got almost an eight-man front. They stacked in their line.